If you can imagine back in history that Governor and General Sam Houston supposedly lived on a, a plantation where there were large oak trees and hanging down through the oak trees was a mysterious looking plant called Spanish moss. And the Spanish moss is actually a bromeliad and the bromeliads that we have on the earth today are what are known to be as epiphytes. So in Texas we have ball moss and we have Spanish moss and both of them attach basically to the rotting stems of old organic matter. That organic matter could be the bark on a, a new tree. It could be where there are no leaves growing there, but seldom do ball moss, the talansias, and, and including the Spanish moss, do they kill the plant. They live where they can be in sunlight, and that's generally on the branches that are un, unassociated uh, or the part of a branch that's unassociated with the leaves or the photosynthetic material of the plant. So the genus Tillandsia, uh, very well noted to be epiphytes. As an epiphyte, the plant has a rhizoid, a part of the plant that attaches itself into the bark or on a branch so that it doesn't get blown off. The Spanish moss, uh, it, it grows in a long trailing almost like a vine of growth, but it, it gets its moisture and its nutrients and of course carbon dioxide directly uh, out of the air. So heavy dew mornings, foggy misty days, and days that it's raining, the plant is able to take up water. And as the sun is out, the sunlight is always present, but then with dust and nutrients that are in the air, those come to the plant in the water and, and hang about that plant. The science has noted that these kind of bromeliads do not get anything from the host plant, like the live oak or the winged elm or the honey locust or any other plant that's closely associated with the giant live oaks. The bromeliad family is noted to be the bromeliaceae. Uh, within the genus Tillandsia, we have three species of this hanging moss or ball moss that are native to the state. Here in East Texas, the Spanish moss, Tillandsia usneoides, is the common one. The, the ball moss or the round form is generally uh, in South Texas and the Edwards Plateau uh, out to the Trans-Pecos. But the, the Spanish moss has also been noted uh, to be commonly named black moss or pastel, P-A-S-T-L-E, pastel. But it is a native warm season perennial so that it's doing most of its growth from moisture in the air in the spring, the summer, and the fall. When the plants go to flower, they have a long flowering stem with a flower head at the end. They're very obscure because they're only going to be green and usually kind of brown, and they blend in with the growth of the material.